Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about algorithmic trading strategies. Now, an algorithm is just simply a program that will execute specific orders under specific conditions. That can be a whole host of things. It doesn't necessarily need to be uh, a price. It could be something as simple as a moving average crosses over another one. It can be certain levels are broken. It can identify support and resistance based upon candle wick length. I mean, it's pretty much anything you can imagine. And when you look at professional shops these days, one of the things that they pay the most attention to when they hire is uh, whether or not you have programming skills. And there's a reason for that, because those programming skills can keep you uh, profitable over the longer term. It keeps the emotions out of the market. It gives you an ability to take advantage of uh, inefficiencies in the market, if you will. But just as a strategy can work and make money over the longer term, the great thing about using an algorithm is that it will simply fire off. So traders have a hard time even you know, there's the old story about how you can have two traders with profitable systems sitting next to each other and one will outperform the other. And it just comes down to the psychology of it is you watch the, uh, the, the profit and the loss statements go up and down. It causes a lot of psychological damage over the years. I would say probably psychology is the most important thing. Anybody can read a chart. It's really not that difficult. You can teach yourself to do it for that matter. But an algorithm takes that out of the equation. Quite frankly, it lets you leave it alone. Most traders these days have algorithms they, pl they plug into a computer at work, and then they work on backtesting other strategies the whole time coming up and do strategies. You can add them to MetaTrader 4, which is a huge advantage of MetaTrader 4. And there are plenty of them out there for sale. Now, unfortunately, not all of them are good, and not all of them can be used in every possible scenario. So you certainly need to backtest them. You don't want to just throw money into the market after buying one. And you certainly don't want to use one particular algorithm for every market condition. Those are recipes for disaster. So you definitely need to read the, the directions and you need to understand that a lot of these ones you buy are cheap. But, um, you know, a professional shop is going to spend millions of dollars on an algorithm. And they'll have Ivy League PhDs, mathematicians, designing these algorithms. Now, don't let me discourage you because those are the same people who have blown up hedge funds in the past. So it's not impossible. It's not that you have to be one of these people to make money with it. It's just that you need to do your due diligence. And somebody, of course, who has a mathematic background will be much more um, likely to succeed. So that's where farming uh, the work out to somebody else may make sense too. You can hire people to build these programs. But that's just a quick word on algorithmic trading. It does take a lot of the problems out of trading and more and more professional uh, shops are doing it. And now retail traders are starting to do it. A lot of times what will happen is you'll back test say 200, 300, 400 trades and you realize that over the 100 trades, you should have X amount of winners and it should be roughly, you know, maybe a 4% gain or a 10% gain or whatever it is. And you just trust that over time, that's what happens. It's a statistical game more than anything else.